uh, hello uh, class hello everybody uh, how are you uh, I hope uh, everybody is doing good uh, today uh, we are going to discuss about uh, uh, like uh, circular and uh, rotational motion so uh, I think that uh, everybody is uh, familiar with what uh, motion is and uh, we uh, are already uh, familiar with uh, the kinds of uh, or the types of motion that we have so uh, for today's class we are going to discuss about uh, circular or rotational motion okay so uh, as uh, i have mentioned previously uh, circular or rectangular motion is a kind of motion which took place uh, by taking the axis as a reference for uh, the motion so uh, when you see about the definition for the rotational motion it is a motion of a body uh, that spins about what an axis so uh, for this kind of motion what we have uh, is like spinning around an axis so you may consider that uh, this line may be the spin or the axis uh, we can uh, consider it as axis okay so uh, by taking this line as an axis a certain object can move like this one for example take this particle if this particle uh, has a motion uh, like this one that means it is uh, rotating around what this axis okay so uh, in the case of that one uh, we do have uh, radius that means since it is a circular motion that motion could be described in terms of radius from the radius means uh, the distance from the particle or the object to the center of the circle the center of the circle means the line the center in which the axis pass through so uh, such kind of description can be taken uh, in the terms of rotational motion so uh, when you continue like this one what is the axis of rotation that means what what this line can refer about which is a line about the uh, rotation occurs so uh, a point rotating a point uh, rotating uh, rotating object undergoes a circular motion because a single point always travels in a circle so uh, it undergoes what kind of motion a circular motion so uh, when you define a circle uh, it has a distance from the center to uh, any point on the circle that we call it as radius okay so keep in, in mind that we do have radius in the case of circular motion okay so we will come up with a certain definition so uh, as we have learned from the rectilinear kind of motion we have defined some terms like uh, speed we have defined speed we have uh, this uh, we have defined displacement we have defined distance we have defined displacement we have defined the speed then we have defined velocity then we have defined acceleration okay so we do we do define such kind of uh, physical terms in the rectilinear kind of motion so for similar uh, manner we are going to define also such kind of physical quantities for the rotational motion so the distance or the displacement uh, we do have the angular uh, distance or displacement for the case of speed we do have angular speed which is defined by omega or the velocity we can find that angular velocity angular displacement we do have for the case of acceleration we have uh, uh, acceleration centripetal acceleration which is a, uh, the, which is an acceleration in which uh, the force which is seeking the object toward the center of the object uh, will result so uh, we do have such kind of terms we are going to we are going to explain uh, each of them uh, in detail okay for example let me start from uh, this term arc length so uh, we have defined that rotational motion is a kind of motion which occurs uh, uh, around an axis and it took place like that of a circle so uh, take about this uh, circular uh, uh, movement so uh, take about this one is the center and th take about this is the initial position in which this particle is moving then or this object is moving then at a certain point of time this object reached to this position this position so uh, so we do have what uh, certain uh, position uh, change of uh, 
position therefore we do have a change of time so by this change of time how much uh, distance that the object travel in a certain point of time so this distance it travels uh, this distance right this distance we call it as arc links okay arc links so uh, so uh, we have defined what arc links means okay uh, let's take about another definition that we have we know that uh, angles are uh, angles are defined in terms of degree right but when you come to in the rotational motion we define angles uh, based on radians radians and we, ha we do have also uh, basic convention that uh, we have agreed on that means for counterclockwise uh, rotation counterclockwise rotation means rotation like this one it is counterclockwise rotation so for this kind of rotation we do have taken uh, the quantities like the angular uh, displacement plus uh, the arc links we took as positive for the kind of uh, clockwise uh, rotation that means a rotation like uh, a rotation like this one this is a uh, clockwise rotation so for this kind of uh, rotation we took uh, so such physical terms physical quantities as a negative for example for angular displacement we took it as negative for arc links we took it as negative also so uh, when we try to define the angular displacement the angular displacement means how the angles are varying for example this was the reference so it was zero degree now take uh, the object was here first of all the, at the first instance the object was here then at a certain point of time the object comes to this position for example so it rotates like uh, clockwise or counterclockwise it rotates in the counterclockwise so we took it as positive so uh, the angle in which it moves from this to this position this is the angle the angle change we do have a displacement so that angular displacement is about 4 over 3 pi 4 uh, pi over 3 about 240 degree in terms of degree 4 pi over 3 so uh, 4 pi over 3 radian we define in terms of rad radian so uh, generally we do have this basic formula for angular displacement we do have the arc links divided by the radius okay so we can rewrite as arc links means angular displacement in terms of radian times distance r usually radian is a dimensionless quantity so uh, for example radian times meter it took us meter okay the unit is meter not rad meter so it is meter so it is a dimensionless quality quantity so uh, we define as angle arc links equals to angular displacement times radius so if a point makes a complete revolution for example if this point makes a complete revolution comes to this point again then it moves about 360 degree that means in terms of angular displacement it is about what 2 pi 2 pi so 2 pi times the arc links becomes 2 pi this theta becomes 2 pi 2 pi times r 2 pi r then we define 2 pi r as the circumstance circumstance circumference of the circle okay 2 pi r for a complete revolution the arc links becomes the circumference of the circle which is 2 pi r okay keep in mind that one so uh, what's the definition of radian by the way what's the definition of radian we can define as for example we have defined as theta means theta or angular displacement means arc links divided by radius so when it comes to this one one rod means one rod one rod means one rod means uh, uh, s over r has to be what equal for one kind one radian we do have what s and r should be equal so that means the radius of the circle and the arc links are equal uh, for in terms of one radian so one radian is in uh, we can define it as one radian as uh, it occurs when the arc links and the radius of the circles become equal so the radius of this the circle and the arc links are equal the arc links equals to the radius of the circle we do have uh, theta becomes one radian so we can define it like this one so radian is the angle of the, the space of the pi is equals to one radian one radian is about 57.3 degree in terms of degrees Thus, all three of the sides are equal to the arc links okay 
so when we describe about angular motion uh, previously we used degree uh, to measure angles but in the case of angular motions we use radian so uh, in, in most scientific calculations we use radian therefore radian means we have to find that one radian means the arc the circular arc is equal to the radius of the circle so uh, in terms of one revolution one revolution means 360 degree which is 2 pi rad 2 pi rad so when we try to convert the radian uh, to degree and degree to radian uh, uh, vice versa so uh, angle in terms of rad equals to uh, angle in terms of degree times pi over 180 degree and angle in terms of degree equals to uh, theta rad times 180 degree over pi so keep in mind that this kind of conversions okay keep in mind that this kind of conversions for example let us we talk about this example uh, while riding on a carousel that is rotating clockwise okay take uh, 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 take in mind that the rotation is in clockwise direction a child travels through an arc length of uh, 11.5 meter okay so we have arc length the arc length which is s is equal to 11 okay point uh, five okay meter but we have note that the rotation is in clockwise direction so the arc length is taken as negative if the child's angular displacement is uh, 165 degree the angular displacement is equal to uh, 165 degree okay 165 degree but we need we need have to change this degree into radian so uh, when you change it to radian it becomes uh, 2.88 rad okay 2.88 rad again you need to mind that the rotation is in clockwise direction so you should make it negative okay negative so we are we have asked to uh, determine the radius of uh, the carousel okay radius is defined as the radius is defined as uh, s over what theta okay radius is defined as arc length divided by angular displacement so arc length is about 11.5 meter okay uh, divided by radian in terms of 2.88 rad okay 2.88 rad so uh, try to uh, uh, calculate this one then you will come up with uh, you will come up with you will come up with yes uh, uh 3.99 meter okay the radius of the circle is about uh, 3.99 meter okay uh, one uh, basic term uh, that we have to define uh, way to try to uh, define a motion you have to come up with a speed actually so uh, in the case of uh, circular motion we talk about uh, uniform motion okay the uh, speed is like uniform motion that means the speed magnitude doesn't change at all it is constant uniform for uniform accelerated motion kind of so, uh, motion uh, with, with the speed is not changing actually but we do have the velocity is changing why the velocity is changing because because the direction uh, changes okay the speed doesn't change the speed is just the magnitude of the velocity but the velocity changes because the direction is changing when it is rotating around the circle so uh, the rate at which a body rotates about an axis we call it as angular speed so ang uh, we know that speed means the rate of uh, change of what distance uh, actually so uh, we have defined that uh, average uh, angular speed means uh, the, the change in the displacement divided by change in time so they say of this one is actually right for second usually it is right for second because this is right uh, and this one is in terms of second so we do have uh, right per second okay this is the s unit actually we can also define it as in terms of revolution per second also because one revolution is about to pi right so that so that uh, let us we do an example here a child at an ice cream parole spins on a stool and the child turns a counter uh, turns counterclockwise with an average speed of uh, 4.0 rad per second so we do have average speed which is, is equal to 4.0 rad per second okay this is the average speed okay in what time uh, interval will the child's uh, feet have an angular displacement of 8.0 pi rad so we do have angular uh, uh, 
displacement which is about 8 pi right okay 8 pi right so we have asked it to determine the time interval in which it will take place so the time interval becomes uh, we can define it as the time interval as the change in angular displacement divided by the average uh, speed okay so it is about 8 pi divided by 4 okay it is about what it is about 2 pi seconds okay it becomes 2 pi seconds within 2 pi seconds uh the it will have 8.0 uh, pi right per second angular uh, displacement change so we could define it as like this one so we do have about 2 pi seconds about pi is 3.14 so multiply 3.14 by time by 2 it's about 6.28 second okay keep, me, keep in mind this one so how many it will become in revolutions how, how many uh, how many revolutions it will take place so the speed is about uh, forward per second actually yes uh, or we can take it as like uh, the displacement is about 8 pi uh, radian yes so we know that one revolution is uh, 2 pi rad okay so uh, so it becomes about what for four revolutions sorry it becomes four revolutions in terms of revolutions okay uh, for today's discussion this will be our last uh, topic so uh, we are going to define what angular acceleration means because since it is motion uh, as like that of rectilinear kind of motion or translational kind of motion we do have uh, also displacement uh, we do have also speed we do have also velocity we do have also acceleration okay so acceleration the time rate of change of angular speed we call it as acceleration so it has a estimate of rod per second square okay rod per second square so uh, when you define us in terms of uh, formulas it becomes the average acceleration becomes it is defined in terms of in order to differentiate uh, terms or uh, explanations with that of the translational kind of motion, we use another another acronyms. Like for example, for the kind of uh, displacement we use theta. For the kind of speed we have omega. For the kind of acceleration we have alpha. Okay. But for the case of translational motion, for for the kind of displacement we have uh, s with an arrow. For the kind of speed we have p. For the kind of acceleration we have a. So uh, keep in mind that the uh, this kind of acronym uh, relationship okay so uh, uh, alpha uh, average that means uh, angular av uh, acceleration average angular acceleration becomes uh, the change in uh, speed divided by delta t so uh, the average angular acceleration if the object is rotating rigid all points on the object have the same angular speed and acceleration okay as i have uh, mentioned previously we do have the same angular speed uh, but we do not have the same velocity not that we don't have the same velocity in terms of uniformly accelerated kind of motion we do have the same acceleration not that we do have the same acceleration but we don't have uh, the same kind of velocity at all okay because the velocity is changing because it is changing due to the direction the change of the direction of the rigid particle or the rigid object movement okay so uh, let's we do about this thing and uh, let's we do this uh, last example then uh, we will finish today's class and in the last class uh, in the next class we are going to discuss about the relationship between the translational motion and in terms of the rotational motion we are going to define the Sufert equations basically okay the Sufert equations the five uh, the five equations that we have uh, when we use it to define uniformly accelerated motion in the case of translational motions so this is our last example let us we do this example and we will end today's class a car style rotates at an initial angular speed of uh, 21.5 watt Per second so initial speed is 21.5 rod per second that speed is angular speed the driver accelerates and after 3.5 second the tire angular speed is 28.0 rod per second so what is the average angular acceleration during 3.5 second uh, time interval so you know that we have defined uh, actually the average acceleration becomes omega final divided minus omega initial divided by uh, the change in time so you have this formula so you can uh, insert the quantities uh, then you will you will get the result finally so it becomes 28 minus 21.5 divided by 3.5 so you will have you will have uh, 28 minus 21.5 divided by 3.5 you will have 1.86 right per second square so class this will be our uh, la this is uh, the uh, our last uh, discussion on the angular acceleration so on the next class we are going to define about the uniformly accelerated motion equations in terms of uh, for the angular or circular motion uh, then after we will do many examples and we are going to discuss about also the uh, Kepler's law we are going to define uh, 
we are going to define and uh, uh, do many examples as much as possible on this uh, chapter okay so uh, see you on the next class bye bye